Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? More or less. It's more or less, why? <laughs> I have a lot of work. You got a lot of do, a, a lot of job to do. All right, but but you're okay. I mean, you're very busy, but, but your I'm, health, you're healthy, right? I'm yes? healthy. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's the most important thing. <laughs> and thank you for being on time, Pablo. I know that you are very, very hyper to learn since it's your first time. And that is very great. I ha I really like when I have students who are really, really interested in learning. And of course, when they are uh, participating, turning on the cameras and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is really, really nice guys to to have you here on time okay that's okay so what is my name velma velma yeah like the flintstones right all right yep. so and nice to meet you guys nice to see you again remember meet no solamente significa conocerse verdad sino que también encontrarnos all right nice to meet you again all right uh, um i still have I know that this is the uh, like a, a biggest group or the um, yeah the biggest group that I have or the largest uh, group that I have. We are more than twenty, right? Yesterday we were like twenty three together. So, but there was a person who was not able to talk. Yo me acuerdo que había alguien que no pudo. I remember there was a person who was not able to introduce him or herself. I don't remember who, but anyways, um, thank you. Thank you again for being on time. I know that we already introduced ourselves yesterday, last night. So we will just start with the, with the class, all right? Uh, did you watch videos? Did you watch the, uh, or did you work in the platform? Were you able to access or you didn't have any problem? Nice to see you guys. Welcome, Carla. Welcome, Gladys. Welcome, Jaimito, Alvaro, Brandy, and Christy. It's a Hi. pleasure to be here, guys. All right. Have you practiced or no? Yes, I've been practicing. Excellent. All right. Remember, guys. Practice makes perfect, right? We need to practice in order to uh, not forget anything, all right? We can, uh, we, I don't know if it has happened to you. Alguien ha aprendido otro idioma anteriormente. Have you learned any uh, language? Because I remember I was, I was trying to learn. Like It was very difficult for me to learn um, Chinese. But I don't remember. I just remember like, uh, like, was she que yo soy? And I don't remember anything else. Why? Because you don't practice. Y cuando uno no practica, a los años, aunque seamos que ya intermedios, you forget a lot of things, a lot of words. All right. So the vocabulary is important. Remember, I also remember, no sé si a ustedes se los pedí, that you, you need to, um, learn verbs all right the verbs in past for example because that's gonna be a topic for today if i'm not mistaken no quiero ver con que vamos a usar. oh no with you we're going to study the phrasal verbs los, fra los phrasal verbs uh, do you know what a phrasal verb is guys it's a verb with a particle or a different um preposition right can you tell me any of them? Alguno que se recuerden, guys? I don't buy it. I have, I have some of you. I have some of them. So, so you can see, for example, there is one. Sorry, guys. But it's getting hot. It's getting hot. Um, the most common, the most common, it's the, the verb get, right? So I'll give you some examples so, so you can see. And if you could... Uh, be able um, to locate a dictionary and look for the meaning. I have my own dictionary. I have English, English dictionary, and I have another, which is just English to Spanish dictionary. And uh, there are so many, so many 
uh, meanings with the verb get, but the meaning in general, what is it? Is to? Uh -huh. Tener. Uh, in English, give me synonyms. Give me synonyms. Obtain. To obtain. Yes, to have. Obtain. To obtain. Have to. Mm -hmm. Good. So imagine uh, if you can. Does anybody have dictionaries todavía? Paper dictionaries, guys? Yo, cuando, yo no, nunca tuve computadora cuando aprendí inglés al inicio, guys. So I had to learn. Looking uh, in the dictionary, looking for the words in the dictionary. So we have, si tienen uno, so, ustedes se van a dar cuenta todos, todos, todos los, los get que pueden encontrar. Esos son phrasal verbs. El verbo más una preposition. Y tenemos, for example, guys, um, mm, mm, imagínense qué significa tanto get. Significa conseguir, lograr, obtener, recibir, traer, aprender, comprender. So, do you get it? Do you get it? ¿Lo entiendes? Todo depende on the context, remember. But we have get across, get about, get ahead, get along. Yo creo que algunos ya se los pueden ustedes, pero los invito a que aprendan los phrasal verbs porque con una preposición que cambia, el significado es diferente, remember. Ok, so... Uh, horriblemente largo, larga la lista. Así que, anyways, guys, we're going to talk about the, re, um, the phrasal verbs today and how to use, for example, the um, how to use them when we're talking about an object. Sab sabemos que tenemos un object, pero puede ser un object pronoun o puede ser un nombre de una persona, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces vamos a saber que no puedo decir, por ejemplo, eh, um, get up me ok, eso no es no es eh, no es lo normal, ¿verdad? sino que get me up o get, uh, wake me up eh, cuando ocupamos object pronouns siempre tienen que ir en medio, no al final ok, así que comencemos, guys. let's start and this is not your presentation this is uh -huh. We are intermediate too, right? Sorry, guys. I, 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 I sometimes forget which level we are since I have some other groups. Um, but we have here the past tenses, phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs. This is the first. Mm -hmm. This is the one. Yes, right? This is the lesson, yeah, intermediate too. All right, so can you help me read the, the very first instruction or the description of this lesson, all right? Anybody? Me? Sure, Gladys, tell me. Guys, por favor, ayúdenme yes. con las cámaras, si no, no los voy a tomar en cuenta. Yo voy a pensar que no están ahí, no quiero estar hablando solita. Hello, Roberto Goches. Nice to see you again. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Very good. It's nice to, to see you again. Eh, Roberto no estuvo. He was taught in the class yesterday, but I remember you. Ya no me, yo no, sé, no me olvido de los, de los rostros, guys. Así que... It's, it's a very Estamos nice to Así que cre, créanme que solo ver cámaras apagadas a mí no me ayuda, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Eh, acuérdense que tapean para mí es más fácil poderles corregir cuando dicen ayán, el ayán famoso que a veces tenemos, ¿verdad? Ayán tiene que cerrar sus labios. La forma como ustedes gesticulan y hablan, eso es importante para, para el profesor, ¿verdad? Cómo decirle, mire, fíjense que así no se pone la boca, se pone así. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, fit y fit, miren, ¿cuál es la diferencia? El happy fit, el otro es fit, estar fit, estar bien figurita, ¿verdad? Muy, muy diferente cómo ponemos nuestros labios. Ok, so saying that, Gladys, can you read for me? Go. Ok, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. Excellent. Nice pronunciation. Nice pronunciation. 
Conversation, ¿verdad? Conversation. No se cierra los labios si se fijan. I think very nice pronunciation. Thank you. All right, guys. So basically, it's just to. I know you have already watched this video. Ya lo vieron. Así que no vamos a, a estar pues hablando tanto de este video porque ya saben, ¿verdad? We're talking about phrasal verbs and uh, here it's telling you what a phrasal verb is. We already know it's a verb with another particle, all right? With a different preposition, all right? And the meaning is completely different, all right? So let's see the second. Uh, to make request, okay? What do you use to make request if you remember? We can use, if you saw this video, if you watched the video already, you should remember, what do we use to make request? Or you haven't watched the video yet? Todavía no lo vieron, guys. Yes, right? All right. So, normally we use will, right? That is why a, um, normally, will you turn it off, please? Mira, apaga esa tele, please. Will you? Or would you, podríamos ocupar también para pedir algo, right? Will you uh, put this, uh, put this, uh, put it down? Así que ponga el arma abajo, right? Put it down, right? Put it down or put the gown down, all right? Um, those are basically, guys, the two verbs, uh, or the, the two part verbs to make request. Um, well, let's see. Let me see this. So we use will, all right? Okay, I'll do it. Yes, I will. Okay, yes, I will do it. Yes, I will put it down. Yes, I will uh, turn it down, etc. cetera. Um, what phrasal verbs were you able to get in these videos? Or which phrasal verbs? Clean up, pick up. Okay. Turn down, turn off, turn. turn all right. So, take. what is turn up and turn down? Uh, turn down is. Turn down? In same turn, turn, turn up. So, it's to increase the volume, turn for down. example, on TV, it's... on the radio. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And turn down is to um, minimize the volume, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. So, you have two, two different uh, phrasal verbs. You see? Norm normally, if it's just turn, this is just to turn around, to girar, right? To um, to move, to move uh, uh, forward, all right? And what else? This is very short video. Let me play it just in, uh, if you haven't watched it, for algunos que tal vez no lo vieron, solo se los pongo rapidito, it's very short, así que no hay mucho mucho tiempo que perder en el video, right? We don't have a lot, too much time. The noise woke the giant up. Okay. The oh. phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the... All right, so we can respond to the request, but we can also make the request. Si yo le digo, hey, apaga la tele, vea, se oye un poquito como bien pesadito, ¿verdad? pero si te puedo, si digo, hey, ¿me podrías apagar la tele? Would you turn the volume down? All right, or turn the TV down? Um, puedes poner también will or would, pero si usted dice, okay, I will do it. Okay, para usted responder, ocupamos will. The TV, turn the right. TV down. Pick up your things. Do you hear? Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Stop the music. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Okay, so guys, lo que estábamos hablando, what we were saying at the beginning is the following. Si tenemos un pronombre, ¿verdad? Un objeto, un pronombre objeto, que ¿cuáles son los pronombres objetos? Vamos a ver si if you can remember. Tenemos dos aquí, it and 
them, them. But, pero tenemos más. For example, for I, what is them. it? Them or them? Them. Them, them. them, them. them is entonces, ¿verdad? O después o luego. So, so, we have me. What is the other? You. Yours. You. 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 No, you. your. All right. Your is el possessive. All right. Your, no, it's you. All right. You. Uh, what else? The object you. pronoun for her sería her, ¿verdad? Y para él, for he. 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 No, he. no, he's. Him. Don't, don't confuse, him. okay? El posesivo him. es his, el him es el objeto, okay? Es el object pronoun, all right? Eh, para el, el eso, el objeto, we have already that, the, 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 here, which is it. Y el plural para we, no, perdón, para he, she, and it es... Them. Them, hey, para hey. los tres, ¿ok? Si estoy them. hablando de ellas, digo them también. Si estoy hablando de ellos, ¿cómo them. se dice? Them. them. Y si estoy hablando de objetos en plural, ¿sería también? Them. Them. All right. Good. Them. Questions so far, guys? Let's talk about two part verbs. And this is what we are going, what we are saying, ¿verdad? Normalmente ponemos el verbo y el... Uy. Y quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Sorry. Y lo podemos poner ya sea si tenemos el objeto o pronombre objeto, si se puede poner, solo se pone en medio, ¿verdad? En medio de los, del verbo y del part, the particle or the preposition. Pero si, puede, si estamos hablando de las cosas, de mi mamá o de el, the book, entonces puedo decir... Put it down or put the book down or put down the book. ¿Ya? Cualquiera de las dos formas se puede decir. Pero si no podemos decir put down it. Eso sí, nunca, nunca lo he escuchado yo en inglés. All right. Basically, that's it, guys. Uh, let's continue. So you see the meaning is completely different. Okay. For example, if you're talking about put, but if, if you're talking about put off, The meaning is completely different, right? Very good. Verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts. A verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. All right, guys. Now that you have identified phrase, So, that's it. Uh, I need to take uh, some attendance. Yo sé que no es tan obligatoria, pero acuérdense que sí necesitamos un 80%. Y ayer solo se presentaron 21 personas. Quiero saber quiénes están ahora adicionalmente. Eh, nuevos pues ya había Roberto ¿verdad? 22 Roberto Goches All right guys so we are 24 in total but I have only 22 people solo dos personas solo, me hacen falta dos personas que no escuché ayer Ok for example Brenny is here Pablo is here Cristina Calderón is here Uh, Jaime Rodriguez is here as well. 
Álvaro Alvarado. Ya es Carlos Dimas, usted es el nuevo, ¿verdad? Yo también, teacher. Y Yulisa, Yulisa. All right. ah, pues ahora les toca presentarse. Today, por favor, preséntense rapidito, ¿verdad? Eh, un minutito, you are, uh, you are, I mean, you don't know me, tampoco ustedes se acuerdan de mí porque no estuvieron ayer. But my name is Vilma Landa Verde, guys. I am from Suchitoto and now I am still living in Suchitoto for a couple of years. And uh, well, I am 38 years old. I have been teaching English for around eight years already. And uh, well, my major is international relations from Universidad of El Salvador. And I have a daughter, her name is Abril. I like to listen to music. That is why I learned English because um, I love rock music, for example. So it, uh, it attracted me to learn English because I wanted to listen and to hear and also to sing, all right? I like to, to sing in karaoke, even though I cannot sing. No puedo, pero I try, all right? I like it, <laughs> right? Um, Carlos, Roberto, and Julissa, please tell us about yourself, okay? Ah, pues sí, ahora sí ya les tengo completos, guys. Hoy sí. Vamos pues, come on, guys. El tiempo es oro. Let's take advantage of the time, okay? Okay. Vamos, Julissa, ladies first. Okay. Good night. My name is Julissa. I'm. ¿Cómo se dice buenas noches, guys? Ayer lo dijimos. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Por qué no decimos buenas noches? Porque no estamos durmiendo, ¿verdad? Okay. Good night es para allá cuando nos vamos a dormir, Julisa, ¿ok? Ok, good evening. Good evening, uh, my okay. Name is Julisa, Julisa I, I'm 27 years old. I have two children, one, really? one girl and one boy, yes. Uh, I like play basketball, um, mm -hmm. sing, dance, and cook. Like to play or like playing basketball? Se dice children or children's. ¿Cómo lo dijo, Julissa? Children's. Sin la S, ¿ok? Ok, igual, ya veo, cuando nos perdemos una clase, perdemos algunas cosas importantes, ¿verdad? Que hablamos ayer. Children ya es el plural, así que solamente si, sin, sin la S, Julissa, ¿all right? All right, one year old. Así, así es, de, así eso tiene su niña. Oh, how, how old are they? Uh, my girl has seven, is, seven years old. Is, is sorry, seven way. years old. And my boy is five years old. Oh, he's the youngest. All right, nice. Okay, you don't look like you have two children, Julissa, but you're very young, actually. Uh, remember, like to, siempre que tomamos dos verbos, decimos like to o ocupamos un gerundio. I like watching TV, listening to music, etc., etc., etc. Welcome, Julissa. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. All right. Nice to meet you, okay? Uh, hello, Roberto. Ahora it's your turn. Tell me. Hello, I teacher. remember you, pero que se presente con los otros compañeros también. Hello. Hello, teacher and class. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Alexander Alvarado. Este, uh, I am 22 years old. I live years, in, years, years old. Years old. Years old. Uh, I live in San Escalpa, La Paz. I work. I work. Work. I work for. Eh, la segunda brigada aérea. Eh, okay. Solamente. 22 years old, Roberto. 22. 22. Years old. 22. So I think he's the youngest of the class. Yo creo que él es el más chiquito, ¿verdad? All right. Excellent, Roberto. It's nice to see you again. All right. Welcome, welcome back. Eh, vamos a ver, ¿quién nos falta? Carlos, Diana, Diana es nueva entonces también, no la tenía aquí. All right, Diana, nice. Tell me about yourself y después Carlos entonces. 
Me ayudan con las sí, cámaras, sí. chicos. Los que no estuvieron ayer saben, ¿verdad? Si no, es, si no es su primera vez, que la cámara sí necesitamos tenerla encendida. Al menos que estén en el trabajo, como me lo escribió el compañero Mario, que van manejando, ¿verdad? Etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. O que tal vez no tienen cámara, ¿verdad? Algunos entiendo. Pero los demás, pues, por favor, entendamos la cámara. Sigamos las instrucciones, por favor, guys. Respect the class. Así como los demás tenemos la clase, eh, la cámara encendida, hay que hacerlo también nosotros. Diana, why don't you turn on the camera? Well, uh, right now I'm working and okay. that's my lunch, but I have, well, I am in the basement uh, place. I don't know if, well, I want, I'm going to try, okay? You're going to? I'm going to try it. Oh, ok, nice to see, nice to meet you, mire Diana, es que no es lo mismo, mire Diana, que yo, yo, a mí me gusta verles las caritas a mis, a mis alumnos, ¿verdad? Cómo sonríen, cómo, cómo hablan y también que obviamente estén pendientes de la clase. Yo sé que estamos trabajando, en especially, qué bueno que usted está en su lunch, me dice, right? So you're taking advantage, está aprovechando esa hora de lunch, lo siento, y ahí puede estar comiendo, entonces gracias por decirnos, ya ves. Siempre hay algunas excepciones, guys. Los demás, pues pongámonos más las pilas escuchando, ¿verdad? Y participando activamente. Tell us about yourself, Diana. Where do you work? Where do you live? Turn on your microphone. We can't hear you, Diana. We cannot hear you. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Well, yeah. Well, my name is uh, uh, Diana Carolina Melara. Um, right now I'm working in a call center at Concentrate. And okay. I'm 33 years old. I have a son. Uh, his name is Matthew. And he's uh, 13 years old. And he's a big boy. He's a good boy, uh, to be honest. And okay. I would like to um, improve my English because I want to increase my I know it, right? And I need to get more opportunities. I know how important it is to get a, a good level. And that's why I, I'm here. And that nice is really you. good. Nice to meet you as well, Diana. I, uh, believe yeah. me that every single day we always learn any, uh, uh, like a new word or something new. So I understand even though your English is really good, right? Super advanced. I know that we can always learn something new, all right? So I really appreciate that you're in the class trying to learn more, all right? So if thank you, you have any question, feel free to ask, okay? My pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, oh wait. okay. Entonces me quedo Diana. Guys, hay alguien que no estuvo ayer porque ya me salieron 25. Okay. Carlos Dimas, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Do you have camera? No, it's possible. Why not? Because my device is from prehistoric area. And, okay. and you and the classmate. No sé cómo decir, va a haber todo oscuro. Oh, okay, okay. So you, uh, we will see dark. We will see dark everywhere. So that is why you cannot turn it on. Uh, okay, I quite don't understand the reason why you cannot turn it on. I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Okay. But tell us about yourself, anyways. Okay. Good evening, teacher, classmate. Hey. I'm Carlos Dimas Lopez. I'm from El Salvador. I live in El Congo. And I'm a warehouse assistant, and I work at TechSoft, and I'm a single. You're single. I am yes. single. All right? Oh, I am a single boy. I'm a single woman, okay? Ahí ocupamos el A. Remember, I, I told you yesterday, not always is necessary to speak or to say A, okay? Uh, well, nice to meet you, Carlos. Where do you live, you say? Sorry? In the Congo, Santa Ana. Congo, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Well, so um, every everything is okay. Entonces ya sé que Jamie dice que ya casi va a encender la cámara y Mario ya también nos dijo que está trabajando. Así que 
Solo nos queda, Carlos, pues que no, he cannot turn it on, y Marcelo, ¿verdad? Marcelo, what's going on with your camera? Ah, desde ayer me dijo que no tenía, pero en algún momento lo vamos a conocer. Ok, very good, guys. Let's continue, all right? I'm Any teacher. questions so far? Hello, I'm hello, new. Edith. Hello. Are you new también? You Usted es nueva también. Yes, I'm new. Wow, we are so many. Nunca había tenido un grupo tan grande, guys. This is very, very huge. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, how are you, Edith? Thank you for letting okay. us know. Perdone, mire, pero thank sí, you. de verdad que no me había fijado. But thank you Don't for worry. letting us know. All right? Tell us about yourself, Edith. Well, uh, my name is Edith Pinel. I'm 28 years old. Okay. I studied business administration and then I started a master in business intelligence. And that's why I need to improve my English. Excellent. Your English is really good. Maybe just, just we just need to polish some pronunciation. For example, you say administration. Right? Administration. A. I remember the A sometimes it's pronounced like A. Or sometimes it's pronounced like a this the long sound, okay? So in this okay. case, it's administration. Administration. Yeah, nice. All right. So welcome, welcome, guys. It's a pleasure to meet you. De verdad que team se me complica. Thank you very much. Verdad. Cuando no veo las cámaras, guys. Sí, la verdad que no sé si estuvieron aquí o okay, qué, pero. It was my first day. Créame que con un día a veces se me olvida también, ¿verdad? Eh, algunos no los olvido, obviamente, guys. Eh, recuerden lo, de, lo que les digo. Your smile, ¿verdad? Eh, Pablo que me dijo, it's your first time here, ¿verdad? Eh, cosas que no, que no se me olvidan, personas que no se me olvidan. Así que, eh, I'm sorry, Edith. Ahí sí lo siento que no, no me había percatado. Es que somos un montón ahora. All right. Eh, sí, ahí tenemos a Selena, a María Carmen, todos, todos los demás, sí, ya estuvo. All right. So, let's do something, guys. Vamos entonces a ver esto. Can you see the PowerPoint right now? Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay. Yes. So, I, I will give you some yes, examples. Teacher. Uh, well, we already know that the structure, right? That we normally use the subject, the verb, and we normally use an object, and then the preposition could be either or. Dependiendo si, eh, si es un object, solo es un object pronoun, siempre tiene que ir justamente de la primera forma, right? It's the same structure. Y si tenemos un nombre, por ejemplo, hey, mire, eh, Recoge a mi hermana. ¿Cómo lo diría? Pick. Would you like to pick up? Pick my Bien. sister. Pick my pick sister. My sister up. up. O my la sister. otra forma, Diego. Pick up my sister. Pick up my sister. Pick her up, pero no pick, pick her up her, ¿verdad? Oh. Ahí sí no. All right, very good. Eso es justamente lo que estábamos hablando. All right, wake my mother up o get me, uh, get up my mother. También lo podemos decir así. Y lo que les estaba diciendo, ¿cuántos verbos o cuántos significados tiene solo el verbo get con otra partícula o con otra preposición, ¿verdad? Tenemos ahí get ahead. What is the meaning of get ahead? For example, guys, are you tienen el ejemplo? Tell me. To be successful, right? Get ahead. To prosper, right? Right? To strive in your in your in your in your work, for example. Or not only in your work, but you can also say get ahead on um, the university. Hello? Like to be the number one. Get ahead. Yeah, get ahead. Like uh, for your knowledge, you will be the number one. Uh huh. That is correct. So you are you you always strive, right? Your your um. How can I say this? Well, you just you just say it. Uh, you just say that uh, it's to prosper or to be like head and shoulder, right? In that case. So get away, it, that means to 
Bye bye. Get away from me. Get away from me. Uh huh. You say leave, leave. right? To go, to right? To skate, right. to run away. All right. Now, get along with. If you could give me another example, would be fine. I know you know the meaning already. It's just for you to to see how uh how much variety we have with the phrasal verbs. So, get along with is to have a good relationship with someone. For example, I don't have a good relationship with my ex. So I don't get along with him, all right? But remember, if we say get along, we need to say with, all right? Get along with, oh, I get along with my students all the time, but I don't get along with my ex. He was a, you know, a rude guy, whatever. And through, get through. What is the meaning of get through? Because Había una profesora que siempre me decía, eso no existe, mes. eso no existe. Y me ponía mala nota, imagínense. And I knew it existed, porque yo así he hablado con muchos americanos y ellos usan mucho estos vocabularios, all right? Entonces, ¿qué era get through? Ajá, uh -huh. here it is. If and um, there is another way when we're talking about good, get through, for example, is when you are, uh, when you're suffering from a situation as well, I'm getting through a very hard situation, all right? So it's uh, when you're uh, experiencing something, that is another way to say get through, all right? Or you say, I got through the wrong department to be connected or also, what is the other meaning? Oh, okay. Uh, down, get down. Are you watching what I what I'm presenting, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, I have yeah. a question. Tell me, Diego. I don't understand that. Uh, well, uh, the blue square is like this explanation, no? Uh -huh. uh, it's, because it's I don't a... understand. Uh, uh, get through. Uh, to be connected by phone. I don't understand that. Oh, for example, I'm going to get through. Get, it's like get connected as well. Um, me voy a conectar. I'm going to get uh, through um, Zoom. I'm going to get through uh, my computer. Como oh, me puedo okay. conectar. Uh -huh. Pero okay. el otro que les decía, perdón, uh, I, I got confused. Era go through. Okay, go through. Ese es el go. go. Through. Okay. Con el go ah, through okay. es como pasar por una, por una, por una ah, okay. situación. Ese es el get, ese es go through. Perdón, I got confused. So thank you, Diego, for, for uh, okay, realizing this. Uh -huh. So get away. Ahí está. ¿verdad? Las prepositions que pueden ser. Get over, get around, get, get somebody down. Uh, get along with somebody, etc., etc., etc. So, get over. What is the meaning of get over? No, se, mejor no se lo voy a poner. Vamos a ver si se lo puede. Uh -huh. Get over. It, get over for uh, it sounds it's like the end of something to me. To forget something? No, forget the end of something? something to me. The end of something. Or when you recover from your health, that you're sick, but you get, uh, like, you get recovered. All right? So, that is also get over. All right? Oh, okay. To overcome or to recover from something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good job. Etc. 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 Now we have another example with the with look, for example. Look, there are many of them. I know, guys, que pues en un día para mí es bien difícil acordarme de todos. Okay? Siempre hay uno nuevo, right? There is always something new. So I invite you to um do your best, do your best and uh, try to uh, remember those, those phrasal verbs. Como le digo, con una palabra a la par, el significado es otro, completo, diferente, all right? So, we have some phrasal verbs here. The ones that you already uh, watched in the video. So, I need more examples. I would like you to give me more examples. Aquí, aquí tenemos look after. ¿Qué es look after, guys? Este es bien común. This is very common. Miren. Look Thank for. You. Aquí está también, vea. To search. All right. Look up. To become. Mm -hmm. Look. Look ahead. 
to think about the future, look out, be careful. Or, for example, cuando le dicen, watch out, también ve, hey, cuidado, uh -huh. right? Uh, get through, look through, aquí que dice, to read something quickly. Ajá, get through, como darle un skim, ¿verdad? Hacer un, uh -huh. un pequeño escaneo. All right? That's it. Now, I would like you to give me some examples using any of the of these uh, phrasal verbs you already know. There's a kiku there. Uh -huh. I don't buy it. I need an example using the object, all right? Sí, justamente como la estructura lo, lo decía, igual en el video se los estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Cómo hablarlo, ¿ok? Si se fijan, aquí tenemos los ejemplos, ¿ve? Don't look out. If I don't look out, you can fall on the ice. ¿Ok? Uh, vamos a ver, díganme más ejemplos ustedes. Give me more examples. Uh, could you wake me up at the morning? Okay. Can you wake me up in the morning? Sure, I morning. will. I will wake you up. I will wake you up in the morning. What time? <laughs> uh-huh. Good. More examples, guys. We're 24. Somos 24, and it's not possible that only a person gives me an example. Okay, so I hope that everybody's paying attention and Give me your example. Mm -hmm. Ajá, con get, por ejemplo, el más común de todos, get. Be care is a phrasal verb, be care. I'm sorry? Be care, be careful. Careful. Be, be. Be care are two verbs. That is a phrasal verb or not? That is, no. Uh, be careful is not a phrasal verb as far as I know, but it's like, hey, se, be patient, se paciente, be good, portate bien, be, uh, be strong, se fuerte. Es simplemente decir, se no sé qué. Entonces lo que usted me dice, be, uh, be careful, ten cuidado, se cuidadoso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así que um, podría ser un phrasal verb también, ¿verdad? Aunque careful... Um, Be care about your steps. Uh -huh, aunque careful ya es más con un adjetivo, pero sí puede ser, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. estaba leyendo y mañana les voy a averiguar un poquito más sobre eso. Porque creo que pues, no solo son preposiciones, también podrían ser con... Creo... ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco, Pablo, voy a, re, a, a revisar si el, el be careful también es, es un phrasal verb, ¿ok? I will look for it. I will look it up. ¿Ok? Right? Voy a buscarlo. Look it up. Uh -huh. Get out. Get out. Get out of here, guys. Get down. Get okay. down. Ok, pero dime el ejemplo, Brenny. ¿Ok? Yo me, yo me le puedo decir todos los phrasal verbs, pero si no me lo dicen un ejemplo... No estamos yeah. empleando la, 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 no estamos dando una oración, ¿verdad? Diana, what is your example? I get up early. I get up early. Exactly, yes. all right. Diana gets up, ¿verdad? Y acuérdense, chicos, si es el verbo en pasado, pues hay que poner el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Yo me levanté tarde, ¿cómo lo dirías? Me levanté tarde hoy. I got up late today. I got up, ya uso el verbo en pasado, ¿ok? Y yo dice, y si digo, por ejemplo, Diana, es que solo a Diana, okay. todo me está respondiendo, vamos, vamos a preguntar a los demás, ¿cómo dijera, me he estado levantando temprano, o me he estado levantando tarde esta semana? I've been getting late. I have been getting up. Late. 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 Getting up late. late. Ok, o me, levant, me he levantado temprano, sería entonces... I have. I have been getting no. up. I have been getting up es yo me he estado levantando. Si yo simplemente, yo me he levantado temprano, perdón. Yo me he levantado tarde esta semana. I have got up earlier this week. Uh, I have got or gotten. Acuérdense que... Ah, um, uh, gotten, yeah. Puede ser gotten. got. 
God puede ser participio también, pero gotten también es la otra forma del participio, ah, right? okay. Pero si God puede ser de las dos formas. Aunque ah, okay. recuerden, cuando son irregulares, los verbos generalmente, en algún, bueno, casi en, que en todos casos, cuando son irregulares, son diferentes al pasado normal y participio, ¿ok? Good, more examples, guys. He couldn't wait to get out of town. Okay, nice. Thank you, Pablo. Very good. All right, I and the rest. I lost my New York. Okay. Another. I Thank you, Brandon. Um, you Brandon. get married. You get married with me. Get Would married. Like... Would, Would you, you like... like to get married? Would you like to get married with me? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, otra. Vamos a ver si esa. Es... Vamos a preguntar. Vamos a ver si get married y el otro be careful entran como entran como phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Porque si es un verbo, pero está con un married, por ejemplo, es un adjetivo, ¿sí? Casado, soltero. Eh, ¿Qué es casarse? Y el otro que me dijo be careful, ¿verdad? I'm going to take a look uh, or look for it. All right, I'm going to look for it. Okay, guys. Eh, good. Ya ven, ya ven que algo, algo, algo nuevo aprendemos siempre, guys. Okay, así que vamos a ver si el get married, be careful, también son phrasal verbs. Debería. Eh, vamos a profundizar un poquito más en los phrasal verbs porque no me imaginé que pudiéramos tener más preguntas este día, guys. All right, uh, questions so far or any other example? Would you like to take off the clothes? All right, take off your clothes or take your clothes off. También se puede, ¿verdad? Yep, very good. Nice, 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 nice. What else, guys? Aquí tengo algunos ejemplos, mira. Aquí tengo otros. Break down. Give me examples with break down. What is the meaning? To get. I used to break down my phone. To break down your? Phone. Break down. You used to do it? Or your cell phone used to break down itself? Or no, usted I... lo, que lo tiraba así. Yeah, the, the work hit my phone. <laughs> All right, guys, have you ever done it before? Yo me acuerdo que cuando tenía un teléfono, I remember once, I was very angry and I throw it against the wall and it was broken. Yeah, it was broke down. All right. That's me, you're from this planet. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't know, guys, ahora ya lo pienso, ya lo pienso, pero antes sí, de verdad que... Antes como que uno le valía un poquito más, ¿verdad? Cuando no sabía el valor de las cosas. When you didn't know how so, something wor it's worth, sometimes we don't, we don't pay attention, right? We don't care sometimes about something. But no, ya tengo ratos que aunque quisiera quebrarle la, el teléfono a alguien, no lo hago, ¿verdad? I don't do it. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice. So, ajá. Uh -huh. Another, guys. Tengo las mismas participaciones. Pablo, Brenny, Diego, Diana. And the rest, muy bien, gracias, aquí estamos escuchando, estamos aprendiendo de los demás. Ajá, come on guys, si ustedes no, no me dan unos ejemplos, ¿cómo puedo saber que yo sé, ah, ya sé cómo utilizar este phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. mire, Brenny me dice, I, I broke down, no, ella no, que lo quebraba, tal vez por, vea, si lo decía directamente ella, ahí sí, pero si se fijan, no, I did it todo depende, you did it before. Like me. <laughs> I can show you my computer. So I have two computers. The other is have a, like uh, something circle black. And this is the new one. Así le dieron ganas de smash it on the wow. floor, right, Brandy? Right. I know. Marcelo, you raise your hand. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Uh, can, uh, can I say, could you get around a store to store, look for a uh, bread? Go around the store and look for bread. Yeah, look for. We are using two phrasal verbs there. All right. So we have uh, my television broke down, my computer broke down, or I broke my computer down, or I broke down my computer. There are many ways to say that. All right. Now to bring up, give me an example. It's when you call or uh, something Teacher. into the point. Uh huh. 
you break something to the point. Sabrina. Teacher. Hello? I was looking for an example for the breakdown, but I have a question. Is it driving together or separately? Separately. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's my internet, but I, I heard that it was kind of breaking up. I couldn't hear you yeah. perfectly. Is it writing together or separately? Break down. Yeah, you can. My television broke down. For example, I broke down my television or I broke my television down. Puede ser de las dos ahí, eh, Pablo. Lo que no se puede es lo que le estaba mencionando ahí, que se dice it. Oh, yo quebré algo, ¿verdad? I broke it up, or broke it out, or broke it down. Lo quebré. Si ya le pongo en una, un object, pronoun, que ya, es, ya dijimos que son me, you, we, uh, perdón, me, you, her, him, it, them, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? El, eh, también as, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Eh, mire, no me dejes, que es don't let me down, but don't let me down. Don't no. let me down. Pero no digo don't let down me. All right? So don't let me down. Ahí sí. No, no lo, si pongo un object, no lo pongo al final. Siempre va en medio, Pablo. Got no. it? Esa era su pregunta. Was that your question? I, estaba buscando ejemplo. I was looking for an example, but I found that word break. Down, break down. Break, break down. Break, break it down. Break to... down. Pero, es que mire, break down es el verbo normal. Pero si yo digo, oh, si yo la, yo la rompí, I broke it down, o I broke the TV down, o I broke down the TV. ¿Ok? O sea, lo que hacemos es cambiar el verbo. Acuérdense, el verbo principal, si es en pasado, lo cambiamos a pasado. ¿Ok? okay. Lo quebré. O yo lo quiebro todo el tiempo. No, I broke it up, ¿verdad? O I break it up, que todos los días lo quiebro. No, ¿verdad? Ok, ahí sí, por ejemplo, yo despierto a mi hija. I wake my sister or my daughter up every day at 6 a.m. O I wake her up o I wake up my daughter. ¿Sí es? ¿Me explico? Pero si yo digo, la desperté, ya no digo wake, digo walk. Digo walk, ok, digo el verbo en pasado, la desperté, walk her up, ok, eh, no se ha despertado todavía, ¿cómo dirían entonces? She has, she hasn't, she hasn't, wake up, don't, no, wake up es presente, walk up, tampoco, el participio hay que aprendernos también de los verbos. Sería entonces walking, walking ¿verdad? Walking. walking. Ajá, walking up. Ok, y así igual, broken. Oh, lo he quebrado dos veces. Sería, I have, ¿cuál es el Bro participio? Broken. Broken, all right, miren. Son dos, son varias formas, ok. Y dice, mira, voy a romper con mi, voy a terminar la relación con, con esta persona. Ajá, I, I usamos I el futuro, I will, ajá. Break up. Break up. Este es, ese, ese es el break up, este es break up. Break down y break up. Miren, otros, son dos, dos significados diferentes. Julissa, you wanted to say something and also Marios. Perdón si no les doy la palabra, guys, pero necesito terminar a veces la idea, ¿ok? I took over my job today. Can you? Break? Uh, I took over my job today. Okay. Nice. And on another, uh, Mario, what do you want to say? Yeah, See you yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Dianita. Bye bye. Take care. I don't Go know back. Go back to your job. Is correct or not? So I'm not sure, but uh, I uh, designed this, this example. Uh, let me see. Uh, I was looking looking for this article, but I didn't find. Mm -hmm. Look for. I was looking for this and I didn't find it. Okay. Sí, guys. Ustedes me están dando muy buenos ejemplos. Lo único que también quisiera que me pusieran el 
justamente el orden, ¿verdad? De, por ejemplo, I wake my sister down, eh, up, por ejemplo, que ocupemos también los objects, ¿ok? Eh, y que lo hagamos de las dos formas, ya sea que vaya en medio de los phrasal verbs o que pueda ir al final, ¿ok? O de la, son tres formas que lo podemos hacer, omitiendo el nombre y solo ponemos el objeto el, o el pronombre objeto, o si decimos el nombre, se puede poner en medio y también al final. ¿Estamos? Por ejemplo, I will break up my boyfriend. ¿Ok? O I will break my, bro my boyfriend up. Se puede decir aquí. O oh, I will break yo... him up. Y ahí sería así. Dígame, Jaime. Tom, tell me. Uh, I will get a good job. Ok. Uh, solo que ahí solo decimos get, no tenemos, acuérdese, get, por ejemplo, tiene que ir, para, si es un phrasal <risa> verb, sería así. Yeah. Get ahead, get along, get down, get around, get over. Esos son phrasal verb, pero si dice, I will get to my job in the morning, ahí solo, ahí no es un phrasal verb, solo es el verbo normal. I will get to my job. Ok, eh, good guys, vamos entonces, a, vamos a tener 10, vamos mañana nos van a explicar, 10 cada uno guys, por favor, 10 oh. different phrasal verbs, giving examples and telling us, para que todos aprendamos un poquito de los nuevos phrasal verbs que ustedes han aprendido, ok, ya vimos unos cuantos, ya los vimos en la clase, so bring up something new. Like algo nuevo, right? Bring us something new that we haven't talked about yet, okay? Yes, guys, yo sé que no les va a costar mucho y nos dan esos ejemplos, okay? Así aprendemos todo, porque siempre hay algo nuevo que aprender, all right? Guys, estamos? What is the homework? Ten phrasal verbs giving us the meaning and the examples, okay? Okay. Teacher. All right, vaya, si no lo hacen, se lo voy a pedir escrito y le va a costar más. Así que, así le, le, le voy a pedir como un, un, un resumen. Así que, háganlo rapidito, guys. Yo creo que no es complicado y es por su bien, que hay que aprender. Aparte, están aprendiendo verbos también. All right. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, any other question or any other participation, Pablo, guys? Krishna. Yes, Pablo. Looking for and searching, searching for are similar. The same. Same. Look for, search for is two, yeah. Looking for, searching for. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for and searching for es lo mismo. Okay. Yeah. What was look after? ¿Qué era look after? It's to like take, what? take care, right? To take care of a person. Okay, what is get along? Along. To have a good relationship. Exactly, with someone. exactly. Very good. Uh, what is to get over? Like recover or something. Recover like from something. Nice. Thank you, Diego. All right. Um, well, so you will have the this homework for tomorrow, guys. And please watch the videos. Acuérdense que en los videos ustedes los pueden ver a la hora que ustedes quieran. Let's see what is next. Uh, um, I believe that we're going to leave this for tomorrow. Ok, y aquí vamos a ver un poquito más. Miren, pick the toys up o pick up the toys. Se puede decir de las dos formas, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero no puede decir pick up them, no. Sería pick them up, nada más. Estamos. Mañana los, los terminamos porque tenemos ya solo un minutito left. We only have one minute left. And if you don't have any other question, guys, no sé si tienen alguna consulta adicional or any suggestion, question, example, you want to say something else, feel free to do it. I still have only a minute to leave. Tenemos un challenge, guys. Hay que aprendernos los phrasal verbs. No solo los verbos, también los phrasal verbs. Okay, y son bien comunes. ¿Se han fijado? 
Si ustedes ven películas a cada rato, usan, usan los phrasal verbs. Y cuando uno se puede el verbo, pues se puede confundir que estamos hablando de, de algo diferente, ¿verdad? Cuando la preposición hace una gran diferencia en el significado. ¿Ok? Ok, guys. If you don't have any other question, vean los videos anteriores y adelántense también viendo los, los que vienen aquí a continuación. ¿ve? Los verbs eh, for the stress in the two part verbs. ¿Cómo es que se pronuncian? Yo sé que ustedes ya saben, pero vean esos videos. Por algo están ahí, ¿ok? So, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I wish you a okay. nice tomorrow. Evening. Good night. Good night. Si ya se van a dormir, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, have see a good tomorrow. rest. Night, see you tomorrow. It's been a pleasure, guys. Muchas gracias por conectarse. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.